YouTubers, it's Friday, five o'clock. I know, and if we sound tired, it's because we are. I haven't stopped. Haven't stopped. I haven't stopped. No. Anyway, we have a new mod, okay? So I just wanted to make this a little bit short, just to show you what's on the go. So first of all, the first, this, this is another light guard. What came out first was this light guard for the BX. That's right. Comes off. We. Mm -hmm. We. Okay. So then, when that light guard came out, then we had people asking us. See. Nice. We had other people ask us for the single light guard for the L model. That's okay. Right. Which was this. So then we came up with that. That's okay. right. Very heavy duty guard because it's on top of the cab, right? Then, <laughs> wait, I know. <laughs> like, like, no matter what we come out with, somebody always calls and says, Well, can you do this? So, can exactly. you make that? Right? So, somebody called and said, Well, can you make a light guard for the uh, Kubota lights that's on the fender? But they're wide, they're really wide. So, that's the light. That's the light. And they're on the NXs and the it, it, uh, open station ones without the cab. They're on the fenders, right? Oh yeah. So and uh, but they, they're they're quite thick, aren't they? They're right thick. Yeah, they're thick. Right now, uh, regards of ovalness, ovalness. <laughs> there you invented a yeah, word. Yeah, oval. In regards of ovalness, they're about four and a half inches. That's right. Right. But they're two and a half tick, the other one. But they're two, they're two tick, so you just, you couldn't yeah. use that guard. That's right, that's what people were saying. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, there, there's the problem, right? Yes, it's out over. You know, and, and, but it still could have worked, you know, yeah. if anybody wanted to see, see the lens. But anyway, I want to come up with something different. That's right. So, and you did. And, and we did, yeah. So, we, we that one, put that yeah. there now. So then we came up with this nice guard. These are nice guard. These happen to be your favorite. These are your favorite. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And uh, they're made 16 gauge, 16 gauge, 16 gauge, yeah, 16 gauge. And they're rolled on the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the slip roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a long day. I know, a long day. The problem is with these. These are very light. They're they're so light. They're, it's almost like there's nothing to them. And I'm surprised. if you look at the way they're built, not putting down Kubota or anything, but I see these on other manufacturers as well. I've seen these on Coyotes, and mm -hmm. you, you see the way it's done, eh? It's yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of cheapish. Yeah. Nice looking light. Oh, it is. But it's just. Uh, I just can't imagine it like on a fender out on its own and a branch go by and yeah. it would definitely would break it off. That's right. Because that one's even slighter than this one here, right? Oh yeah, oh, this one here, well if you looked at this one here, look at the shaft on that as compared to the shaft on this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look. Yeah. Are you looking? Yeah. I'm okay. Looking. But what I like about the thick one is I like this little rubber face. Yes, I do there. like that, yeah. But the, the thing is with it, it's it's you can even see the bulb going on the inside. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah, you can. Right. Oh, so it wouldn't stand up too much. No, of a it, it, won't, it won't take it won't take much uh, abuse. abuse. No. Okay. So then I wanted to come up with a new guard, but I wanted to come up with a guard that was like tight fitting, form fitting. Mm -hmm. You know, something that wasn't going to look you know too godly because this is right on the fenders, right, right on right. the rear fenders. So I wanted to come up with something nice. So this is what we oh, came up yeah, with. Yeah, don't keep us in suspense. So, and this happens to be the one that you really like. I really like that when I saw that. So we'll put this, uh... see? Yeah. Isn't that nice? That is nice. Lay that's, it down here so I can have a look. That's pretty, eh? That's very pretty. Nice, I like it. Yeah. Beautiful. So you know, you got, you got a little bit of a distance in around. Uh, this here is, uh, I say 16 gauge or 13 yeah. gauge, 16 gauge. 16. But the bottom plate is one eighth. Mm -hmm. I strong. wanted it to have a lot of, I wanted it mounted very strong. 
Wow, look at that when you yeah. hold it up. I love it. But just look at the... Look uh, at that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Now, it's slotted on the bottom, okay, for two reasons. Number one, it does make it easier. A lot of people were asking for slotted. That way they didn't have to take the light right off and, and put it on. But there's another reason, because some people might say, well, you know what, Paul, side on, you might not see the light, mm -hmm. right? So I have it slotted so that if you wanted to, you could move your light out a little bit, okay. still have a guard, mm -hmm. and still see it sideways. That's right. So, okay? Nice. So it kind of does, takes care of two jobs. Easy installation, and also if you want more visibility. Personally, I like it tucked in, I do too. hit away mm -hmm. where, you know, where you can't... Uh, you can't get at it, right? Yes. So Secure and safe. I guess it'll fit a lot of different tractors. Well, it, it'll fit... Yes. It'll, it, it, now, it won't fit these lights here. No. Because the shaft is bigger and the slot is made That's to right. fit. You have to look for that light with that thickness. Two and a half wide, Yeah, it's, right? it's two and a half wide. Two and a half thick. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really intended for this light. Exactly. And the magic is, is in the base here because if your base is off, well, so will your ear gap be. Mm -hmm. Like it, it took a lot of fooling oh, to, to we'll get this ever. right. I had to actually make special tools to get every one of them consistent. That's right. But it is it is a lovely looking. Uh, well, in my opinion, it's a lovely looking. Uh, it's my favorite. Yeah, you did. You liked it right off the bat, yeah, eh? Yeah, as soon as you showed me. Yeah. So and I mean that that will complement the tractor. It will. You know, when that's on the tractor, you're gonna say now. Why didn't that come with the tractor? I know, it's hey? beautiful. I almost feel like buying another tractor now without a cab so I could, so long as it got the, the thick lights, well, just... Now, we're not going to get carried away here. No? No. Uh -huh. Okay, look at the dial it back a notch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to buy a tractor to fit that curve. It'll be Father's Sorry. Day coming and I don't Bye. have a gift or nothing. Well, no. we'll, we'll just go and have a little look around tomorrow. <laughs> There'll be no looking. Huh? Maybe somebody from Kubota Canada be watching and say, yes, yeah, it's Father's Day. Let's give Paul a tractor to mod out. That's right. We'll do a video series. And, yes. Hey. Eh? That would be We'll fabulous. do the full skid pans underneath, mm -hmm. and we'll do the roll bars on top to protect the oh, cab. Oh, wow. should be tricked right And out. we'll have, uh, like, automatic steps like you see on motorhomes. We'll take all the, the little steps that's offered. We'll have them, well, as soon as you open the door, step up, zzz, come People down. Get up. That, you know? As soon as you close the door, zzz, go up. Huh? People have asked for that. I know. Yeah. And it could be coming. One never knows. But anyway, so. Yeah, there it is. This will be on our website this evening. Check it out. If you like them, like a set of them, just get uh, just email Kathy through the website. Mm -hmm. And she'll straighten it all out for you. That's right. And we have, we've built many of them the last couple of days. That's right. So. Have at her. Have at her. Go right to her. Knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> As you say here in Newfoundland, have at her. Yeah. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and have a good weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the, the fathers that's out there. Yes, yes. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. So check out our website. All of this stuff is on our website. We appreciate your business and we appreciate your support. So take care and God bless.